I'm so upset by my success. I feel like all you got to do is listen and watch what other people do and grow from that. But literally people so focused on hating them, hating and putting you down by what you got going on. I'm like, you could have been here too. If you were too busy not looking through your hating shades and looking through your success and let me help this person grow and let me support. But at the end of the day, you also got to be business minded. There's a lot of people who've hit me up. Hey, shout me out, do this, follow me, this, that, and third. And then they fall off. And I'm like, if you were a business, you just lost the customer. I no longer want to deal with you, like, at all. So it's just like, anybody come to me, you better come correct. Because at the end of the day, nothing anybody says negative is going gonna, is gonna to shake me. Because at the end of the day, I got myself here. And... <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody said yet killed me, so it's clearly making me strong. <laughs> Stop with your negativity. Can we? Um, ditto, ditto. I'm, I think you meant to say I'm unlucky with my love life. Fuck it. Life isn't about being in a relationship. Life is about being happy and enjoying what you have going on. Like, relationships are great and all. It's good to go somebody, go home, cuddle, snuggle, be able to confide in that person. But at the end of the day, if you focused on that, it's going to make it harder. And yes, I believe the coronavirus is real. Um, I've known multiple, multiple people who've had it. Excuse me. I've known multiple people who've had it. And... Uh, it's just a quick sickness, yes, but for some people, it's deadly. So, like I said, for you club promoters, stop texting me. Stop DMing me. Because just like you say, oh, masks are fully enforced. Every picture I see y'all post after y'all in the club or every live y'all post, everybody's mask is down there. I, I think it's cool. You can take it off for a picture. But stop saying you protecting us in the clubs when you know damn well you can't. That girl just touched the bottle. She put it on my table. That girl just poured the bottle. That girl just touched the bottle. You touched the ice. You touched this. That girl bumped my shoulder. That back up, cause it oh, questions. It's a question, y'all. In the morning, sometimes I just be ranting. <laughs> uh, dream job, not a job. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, you cannot see my child. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and I'm not trying to be mean. No, you can't see my son because, like I said, he's on a vacation right now, um, enjoying his grandpappies and grandmama right now. Um, he doesn't really get to go out much because of this whole coronavirus thing, besides when he's in like school, but. Other than that, he's just very <laughs> hyper. He'll be in some of my YouTubes, but <laughs> I try to do most of my work when he's away so that I can just knock it out and get it done. That's why you see me up here more when he's not around because half the time he's screaming, yelling, crying, breaking something in the background. So, but am I finally moving to LA? Um, yes. And he's in like a daycare school. I know I'm muscular and skinny. I'm sorry. Someone just said that. But yeah, I'm muscular, skinny. It's so weird. I literally be trying to gain weight. And I can't. So I, like for y'all asking about my workout routine, I be literally trying to gain weight. Like, <gasps> I try so hard. Guys, I almost had a nip slip. Oh, wow. What a bad. Anyways. Yes, I'm thinking about moving to LA. It all depends on what's going on. And I don't like LA's rent. I think your rent is stupid. So, uh, yeah. But I like I don't know if I would want to make my son move to LA. But I accept the offer of Z Nation. I don't even know what Z Nation is. Sure, I'll marry ya. No, I did not see Kiss and Boo. Um, but let's see, let's see. Wow. I like this question. It's so simple, so basic. 
And no, I'm not. I'm not happy right now. And I say that because I'm going to make a YouTube just kind of going into depth about like my relationships like I said like what I deal with what I'm going through and things of that nature and like I'm happy men like <laughs> no sad faces like I'm happy with the way things are going the way things are progressing I do wish that a few things could be different um I do think that things could be different um I know it's super close but it's not there <laughs> don't worry about it disrespect is just an uneducated mind um but like I said I'm happy I love everybody who supports me I love everybody who comes on my lives watches me dms me um shows me support love on my pictures I love it so much that is why I'm doing these giveaways for y'all to give back to y'all I have this amazing apple giveaway coming up super big just stay tuned I'll post all the information when it comes but it's just the best way I can say thank you because I'm not able to talk to everybody. Um, but right now when it comes to like my personal like little bit relationships and stuff like that, eh, it's on the border of being happy. But I have so much going on, you guys, right now. The only thing that I can focus on is staying mentally focused. So it's like a it's like a give and take. It's like I'm I'm happy with a few things in my life, but not a lot. You know, I didn't want to answer this question, but this is a topic that nobody really knows the tea on, and this is the thing. I don't have hate in my heart for anybody, anybody, even everybody who fucking disrespected me, tried to play me, use me, manipulated me, whatever it is you've done to me. I don't hate you. What I don't like or what I don't accept or what I don't respect is liars. Okay. I'm big on a liar. Okay. People say sneaky, this, that, and the other. I'm big on liars. So if I feel like you're going to lie constantly, yeah, I'm going to have a problem with you. Um, on the show, it was it was a love-hate relationship. I opened my arms to her, closed them, opened my arms, closed them. And it's so many times you can open your arms to a person before you get burnt. Just like in a toxic-ass relationship. So, like, why keep going back? You know what I mean? But the real big thing that hit me when it came to homegirl here in the comment is just because I went to visit Harry, a lot of her fake fan pages had a lot to say. And so it's like, y'all looking at her as this great girl, but yeah, she's cyberbullying in people's comments and, and DMs and messages for something, for a comment I just said, who, who is that? And the reason why I say who is Francesca, because the picture had no one named Francesca in it. It was me and Harry. And Harry is not attached to her, just like she's attached to any and everybody she sees. But she, you can't keep claims on people. So at the end of the day, if someone's pissed because I'm hanging out with someone we all met at the same time, you have control issues. You don't control everybody, nor me, <laughs> ever. So it's just kind of like I can befriend who I want to befriend. I can be cool with who I want to be cool with. And if you want to become an evil monster because of it, yeah, I have nothing to say about you. But who is that? Or what are you talking about? Or who? That, that's it. That's the only shit you're getting out of me. So please get off of that with that. Because at the end of the day, beautiful young girl, smart, manipulative and that's all I can say. She's smart. She'll play the fuck out of a person. But she's still smart. At the end of the day, 
people are like, oh, are you jealous of her? You think you're better than her? I don't think I'm better than anybody. At the end of the day, I try to be better than myself. I try to be better than I was yesterday. I try to be better than the person I was last month. You know, I try to be a better girlfriend than I was to the last guy, whatever it may be. But I don't compete nor where, like, this is my saying, y'all. I don't compete where I don't compare. Please don't compare me to another female because me and her are not the same, okay? We may both be females with boobs, butts, legs, eyes, head, all that good stuff, but I don't compete where I don't compare. So at the end of the day, some people are, I'm your cup of tea, that's their cup of tea, but at the end of the day, I never took shots at her or fired shots at her. I just never acknowledged her. Like I said, if you don't have anything to say, don't acknowledge people. If you don't have anything good to say about a person, shut the hell up. Um... But at the end of the day, if I saw her on the street, would I dog walk her? No. <laughs> no. But at the end of the day, I'm sure she wouldn't say anything either. I'm one of those people I'll be like, what's up? I've had people say, oh, I can't, I can't stand around her. When I see her, I'm going to beat her ass. Hello. Would you like me to drop my location? But at the end of the day, <laughs> moving on. I don't have hate in my heart for the girl. I just don't ride with her. It's not someone I would keep in my corner. Um, she seems like she would have been a cool girl, but with all this other stuff going on right now, I just see nothing but malicious stuff. So I don't like it. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I'm a Gemini, if you didn't know. I have multiple sides, a very 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 goal oriented manager mind um, my birthday is may 28th and i can literally say that my sign fits me to a t like if you go and read about i was talking about francesca but now we're not um <laughs> somebody was like what is she talking about we weren't talking about francesca but now we're not we're talking about my sign you're cancer hey cancer what's y'all signs um, we were talking about Francesca and I just felt like she may not be, she probably is nice in real life, but there's too many things she feels like she can control that's not hers to control. So it says a Gemini, it's a positive mutual sign, but I want to know deeper, like I'm deeper than that. Anyway, Scorpios, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, wait, I don't know what that, I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm going for another question real quick. Am I gay? Uh. <laughs> I'm not, but yeah. Um, do I like Francesca? Do I have a boyfriend? I don't know. Love Nip Pop now. Just saying. Oh, well. Why are you in your business team not responding? Don't know who you are. Don't know what you're talking about. You see marriage in your future. I don't know because these guys need to get their stuff together. Um... Sorry, y'all. It's a lot of questions in there. What advice do you get for the haters? For the people that are hating on me, <laughs> keep going, boo. <laughs> Haters are my motivators. Show my feet. You better go on OnlyFans or something and you want to see my feet. <laughs> yeah. She a star on OnlyFans. Hey. And a beat say, maybe I should do my hair. I look crazy, don't I? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Who's texting me? Is it one of you? Who's talking to me, guys? Okay, anyway, advice for the haters. Um, uh, um advice for the haters. Uh, oh, this was my advice. I'm just just giving them a little more time to admire <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry. Why do you want to see my feet? Ugh. 
<laughs> it's white tip toes. Ugh, I can't. But haters, at the end of the day, you don't hate me. You don't. You're just upset because you're not where you want to be in life. And that's okay. Because we're two different people. We've come from two different backgrounds and we've done way different things in our life, in our path. And to be honest, you guys, back in the day when I was like 18, I used to do club promoting. I used to host at clubs. I used to be a manager. I was a Hooters girl. I did Hooters pageants. I did music videos. I did all this stuff thinking that all that stuff I did then would bring me where I am now, back then, when I was 18, 19, 20, and all that stuff. Now, I'm 29. Now everything wants to pop off. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little backwards for me. But at the end of the day, a hater is just someone who's not happy with where they are. And to be honest, haters are really people that look up to you, but they just don't know how to express it. So they express it in hate. But like there's so many times, oh, that girl thinks she all that because her booty and she got a body like that. But in real life, you wouldn't be mad if you had a body like that either. Or if you had the money to buy a body like that. So when you hating on people, just take a moment to sit back and think. Don't hate on them for what they do got. Hate on yourself for what you ain't got yet and figure out how to get there. Look at that person you hating on and figure out how they got there. Instead of hating on me. Like, I can be giving you words of wisdom on how the hell I got here. But instead, you want to be negative and get blocked. And now, because you're so negative in your mind, I've just blocked you from a su success, possible success. Literally. The person you going on their comments and downing, that could have been the person that put your business on the mat. That could have been the same person that you're hating on. Could have been a person that when you really needed it, they would be there. But now that you do nothing but promote hate to them and jealousy, now they're just like, that's exactly why you are where you are. Because you're too busy focusing on the negative that you don't see the positive, so you'll never get anywhere. You know what I mean? If you're stuck like this all the time, hating, and you can't see nothing good going on. You're not getting nowhere. Only where you're going to get to is in a ditch, probably. Because you're going to crash because you can't see. And that's why you're like, I don't know where I am in life. But either way, oh, they look like they could be mine because they're matte, huh? A lot of people don't like my long nails. A lot of people say they don't like my long nails. But guess what? <laughs> they're not on your hand. Guess what? I don't have to touch you. Guess what? These back scratchers don't got to scratch your back at all. I like my nails. I'm fully functional. They don't stop anything. You can wipe your ass. You can do all that good stuff. All it. It's called nails, okay? Whether they were real or not. Sometimes I go long. Sometimes I go short. Either way. But either way, like I said, haters, y'all okay. Y'all will be okay. Just like people who get upset, like, and, and down people and mentally abuse people. Y'all will be okay. If y'all just focus on bettering your mental, you won't be so negative anymore. Promise. Focus on your negative ass mind. <clears throat> you don't hate me, thank you. What does a boy look in a girl? I don't know what they're asking, but um, what is required? What is required for good relationship? Um, me personally, if you trying to lock me down and keep me, I only think you oh I can't <laughs> I look to go in. <laughs> but all you gotta do literally is be there for me. Whether I'm happy, I'm sad, um let me make my mistakes. I'm all about letting people have flaws and overlooking small things and only addressing things that are necessary. But if you have someone else that doesn't do the same, and let's say you leave the toilet seat up, they get pissed. They leave the toilet seat up, you overlook it, but you mention it to them. And they're like, oh, well, whatever. But then you do it again, and they're like, what the fuck? And it's just like, first of all, if I'm overlooking this little shit, so should you. So I like someone that is compatible with me as far as being able to understand my mindset. <clears throat> understand, like, not everything is a battle. Not everything is an argument. 
literally their actions